The position of Bitcoin gets more and more critical every single day. So in today's video, we're going to go over the macro charts to just really quickly recap what we need to see there and then dive right into the short time frame to talk about our brand new level of resistance, the strength of the current trend and what kind of price action we should be expecting over the next couple of days. Welcome back to the channel guys. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jess and as the channel name suggests, it's all about crypto, trading and technical analysis. So if you're all about that or you'd love to learn, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. All right, so just starting off with a really quick recap of the macro charts. So looking at this monthly chart, if you guys watched my last video, you would know, but just in case you missed it, we are currently sitting pretty and just waiting for this monthly candle close to be above this level. So, so far it's looking really good. We are obviously having a green month so far, but we do have 23 days left. So it's still a while away. We still have a good three weeks to go. And while the price action develops within that period, what we're essentially looking for is the monthly candle close above our prior all time high monthly candle close. So that is around $61,300. Now, if we get that green month, uh, green candle for the month, we know that right after that, as per every four year cycle, we do get a pretty much parabolic season. So this period where it's just straight up and all green, almost all green, right? But if we get that red month and we have a candle close above this, uh, below this level here, we know that we have formed a double top and that is very, very bearish on the macro charts. And we essentially risk having a larger macro correction to the downside of about 20%. So from where we currently are, that would be around 27%. So that is the maximum. We would go down to test that bull, uh, bull run trigger point level at $48,000. So over here, we saw a 30% correction when we struggled to have that monthly candle close above the all time high. Um, and so that is exactly what we're looking for here. We want to make sure that we get that green month and have this trigger point for that green season, I guess. So moving on from that monthly chart, we know that if we zoom in just a little bit to the weekly, we want to make sure we see a candle close within the week of this $65,000 range, right? Because when we have that, we know that we have developed a higher high. Otherwise, if we get a red week or we close below this this little line here at 65,500, we know that we have formed the opposite, so a lower high, and that is essentially quite bearish and it confirms a bigger correction to the downside and it increases our likelihood of seeing that red month. So now that we know all these things and we've kind of figured out where we are sitting macro wise, let's zoom into the one hour chart to talk about our brand new level of resistance and how the trend is looking on the shorter timeframes. Okay, so diving into the one hour chart, in my very last video, we had just had this massive 15% crash of Bitcoin from that $69,000 level of resistance. So in my last video, I said that the moment we break above this RSI downtrend here, we should see the end of that rejection. We should see the end of that um, downwards move. And so that is exactly what we saw. The moment we broke above that RSI downtrend, we shot right up to that target range. So we were targeting that $65,000 to $69,000 range because as you guys know, on that weekly chart, we were trying to get a weekly candle close above $65,500. So in the three days left from that one, and so we really wanna make sure that we stay within that range on the shorter timeframes. So that was really good to see. But the moment we broke into that range, we actually ended up forming a double top formation. So I'll just quickly draw it in here. These two candle closes here ended up forming a double top formation and we broke down to $65,700. Now that is actually really good price behavior because the moment we had the double top, we had that weakness, we didn't fall below that 65K range. So now we're actually starting to find support within that target high time frame range. So that means that what happens on the shorter time frames should happen on the high time frames. So if we're getting our short time frame or hourly candle closes as support above that $65,500 level on the weekly chart, we should expect a continuation of that and get a weekly candle close above 65,500. So this level of support here was actually at 65, it was 65,700, so just there. And as you guys can see, we're actually also really holding this 50 SMA line quite well. So the trend is really strong, trying to stay positive. Um, as you guys know, if we get a flip below that 50 SMA, then we know that the trend narrative has flipped to a more bearish narrative. But so far, we're actually staying above that 50 SMA trend line and finding support within this target range here. So 
as we bounced on that level, we broke above this um, level of resistance at 67,300. So that was that double top candle close area. And then we went to find a new level of resistance on our deviation high. So our deviation high is at $67,700 there. Now, if we zoom out just a little bit more onto the three-day chart, we can actually see just how significant this level of resistance is. What we can see on the three-day chart, if we zoom back out to the last time we tested $69,000, is that the current level of resistance on that shorter time frame, 67,700, is actually a high time frame level of resistance. So our inability to break above or have a candle close above this level on both the one-day, two-day, and three-day charts caused us to have that higher time frame rejection and go all the way down to 65,000. 500. So this is the level here. So it starts at 67,600 to 67,900. So if we go on to the weekly chart, we can see that that continued rejection on that three day chart from this range is what essentially led us to this higher time frame rejection to that lower level here. And that's exactly what we're trying to avoid, right? So we're trying to get that candle close above 65,500 for the week. So that's in three days and we have our three day candle close in 48 hours or 46 hours. So on the shorter time frames, if we're able to get that candle close above 67,700, this range here, or this, the range low here, we essentially confirm that first of all, on the 3D chart, we've got that candle close higher than we've ever had it, which increases our likelihood of getting that weekly candle close higher than we've ever had it. And then again, confirms that monthly candle, that green monthly candle that we're trying to get for that parabolic behavior to the upside. So going back to the one hour chart, what we need to see over the next 48 hours, just really quickly get rid of this line, over the next 48 hours is a continued consolidation within this range here doo, 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 and break above this level. Okay, so now that we've talked about that level of resistance, let's quickly go back to the one hour chart and talk about the likelihood of all of those events happening and breaking through that level of resistance at 67,700. So just taking a look at the price action itself, it's actually looking pretty good. So obviously we had that double top formation and we broke through that level of resistance straight away and we formed a higher high. We can also see that we're forming higher lows as well. So for all extents and purposes, we are actually in a very strong uptrend right now, right? So this is our short time frame uptrend. We've got one, two, and three points of validation here. So we've got a horizontal level of resistance and a short time frame uptrend. What does that look like? An ascending triangle formation. So ascending triangle formations are generally bullish. They have a higher percent. I think it's like a 67% chance, I'm not exactly sure, but something close to that, a higher chance of breaking upwards than they do of breaking downwards. So this is a bullish formation. Just as I said previously as well, we're also holding this 50 SMA line really well, and it's forming a sort of another diagonal trend line that's taking us towards this level of resistance. So we have a second validation of that structural pattern of the ascending triangle. Taking a look at the RSI, we can see that we were previously in a bit of an uptrend. So we had this uptrend here from that base of the crash um, and we had our second point of validation here. So unfortunately we have lost that RSI uptrend, but we are still within the price action uptrend. So that means that this momentum drop that we've had here has actually been absorbed and regardless of that bearish pressure, we are still holding our short time frame trajectory, right? And if we go into the 15 minute chart, we can actually see the RSI downtrend that took us through that rejection from 67.7K. So this is that downtrend here. So on the 15 minute chart, what I would be looking for is a break of this downtrend, right? So a flip of that momentum or some bearish exhaustion um, above this trend line here. So if we manage to get that flip while we're in the trend line, that is almost a guaranteed move above $67.7,000, right? Conversely, if we fall below this trend line and then afterwards we get the break, what that essentially means is we might see a test of $65,500, then a break of the RSI trend line, and then a flip back upwards. So it, it kind of diminishes our chances of um, seeing that breakthrough because we've invalidated our hourly chart pattern formation. 
but it still means that we just need to wait a little bit longer before we have another retest of that level. And as you guys know, the more and more times we retest a level of resistance, the higher the likelihood of getting that breakthrough. So it's not necessarily a matter of um, if, it's more a matter of when at this point, because as you guys know, we are holding these levels of support really well. So on the hourly chart, we have a couple things telling us that we are going to break above this level of resistance. First of all, we've got our horizontal levels. So we've got these levels of support here. And so while, while we're above support, we should remain above those levels of support, right? Because they are support. And then we have a structural confirmation. So we've got this ascending triangle formation and our uptrend. And then we've got this momentum that we're looking for. So this is our technical indicator that's telling us when we might see that break above $67.7,000. All right, guys, I think I'm going to end the video there for today. I did end up losing my voice like halfway through filming, so I'm sorry if I sound really raspy towards the end of it. But anyways, if you enjoyed it or you learned something, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel down below. And if you want to see more of my content, I do have a free Telegram channel where you guys can sign up for daily Bitcoin updates as well as crypto and economic news. If you're a trader and you want 15% of your trading fees, sign up down below to BitGet and BingX. They are two of the world's top 10 exchanges. BitGet is available to everyone outside of the US and Singapore, and BingX is available non-KYC and worldwide. Hope you guys have a great week and I will see you next time. Bye!